All right, so if you did the last video, I forgot to mention, if you want to bring everything back, you have nothing selected, and hit Shift-I, uh, and then uh, you will see everything again. Okay, so in this one, what I'm going to do, basically, is uh, create the human IK rig. That's how we're going to rig our character, okay? So, to do that, what you're going to do is this. Select the model. Um, you don't select the eyes or hair or anything like that, just the, the model itself. And then you're going to go, you're going to switch from modeling to rigging. And you're going to go to skeleton, human IK. And basically human IK, what it is, is a uh, an auto rig solution. It's particularly really good for mocap. I'm honestly not a huge fan of animating in it, but uh, uh, to make a rig is a big, long thing. Uh, I actually teach the rigging class as well, and there's like a whole process to that. So, um that's why we're doing this instead. It will take you weeks and weeks to do uh, a good rig, and you would have had a more advanced knowledge. Okay, so we're going to use this. So first you got to do is create a skeleton. And what it's going to do is your character, if you look, these are centimeters, okay? So this is only, I think it's like 12 centimeters. So your character is only like, I don't even know, he's like, what, 8 centimeters? So if you look, it's actually, um, the skeleton's actually really big. Uh, let me do show all. <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, so you can see it's actually probably quite a bit larger. So to make it smaller, you'll see the center locator. You want to select that. That's the thing everything's parented to. Make sure it's that and not this. You do not want to scale from here. It's got to be this, not this, this, that. So I'm going to hit R for scale. Grab it by the middle. Make sure you grab it. You're scaling it um, universally until it gets close. I'm going to hit F for frame. No, framed on that. Okay, that's a little too small. So I'm going to scale that back up. And what I want you to do is this. So uh, obviously I can't see the skeleton that well. If you click on this button, this is X-ray uh, joints. So click on that one or you go to shading, X-ray joints. And that will make it so the joints are always see-through. Okay. So uh, what I want you to do is scale this up so that it's roughly where the hips should be. Don't worry if the arms don't match or any of the other things. What I care about is that this is right. Okay, so it's like that. All right. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it back. Okay. Move it back a little bit more. We'll say like that. All right. That's acceptable. All right. Um, and we're gonna call that good for now. Now over here we can make some setting changes. So for one, if you look. This guy has one, two, three, four, five uh, fingers. Oh, my guy also has five fingers. Okay, yours does not. So if you go over here, you can see you can turn off. I would suggest turning off ring finger uh, because ain't nobody going to marry that. So, uh, oops, probably want to keep the thumb. Uh, but click off ring finger, and you'll see the ring finger will go away. Okay, so uh, just turn one of those off. All right? Uh, if you have toes, you can put those on too. Uh, we don't really need... Any of the, the rest of these things are probably fine. So next what we need to do is actually adjust the positioning of this. So we're going to go to the definition. Um, and we don't do anything here. Uh, but what I need to do is make sure that none of these turn orange. See how this is showing it's validated? Watch when I um, do this. See how it didn't do anything? Isn't that great? Hang on a second. Let me go like this. There you go. See how it turned orange? That means it's no bueno. So you want to keep an eye on this. If it goes orange, you're pretty much screwed. You got to start over. I mean, I can hit undo, but if you went too far and you can't undo, then that's pretty much you got to start over. So just keep an eye on it over here. We're only going to do one side of the character, and then we'll do um, we'll just mirror it to the other side. Okay. So for this leg, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it over, like so, and then uh, so that it's kind of sort of centered. You do not. Um, you can move this one initially in the beginning, but we can't, it's going to let me do it, but you're not supposed to rotate this, um, in any way. You want to try and keep it as straight as possible. Um, and then these next ones, you cannot move this way. It will not do anything apparently, but it, it should make it go. No, thank you. Okay. So those have to be the way that they are. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to move it over and get it roughly to where I think the hip would be. We move down to this one where the knee is okay so in order to see the the edge loops i'm going to click on this which is wireframe unshaded or shading wireframe unshaded and i can see that this is a little bit off so i'm just going to take it and i'm going to move it forward and up 
like so, making sure nothing gets funky here. I'm going to hit the down arrow to go to the joint below it. I'm going to put this where the ankle should be. So notice I'm grabbing this. This will move it. It doesn't move it side to side. Uh, it moves it left or moves it up and forward, but not this direction. That's the only direction it doesn't go in. Okay. So, or if you feel more comfortable, which you might want to just use the arrows here. Okay. But do not move it laterally. All right. So we're going to put that roughly where the ankle should be. And then the next one is, this is for the ball of the foot. So think if you're on your tiptoes, well, not the tip of your toes, but the ball of your foot. Okay. So where your, where your toes come off of. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right about there. We want it towards the bottom, not the middle. Okay. So actually towards the bottom, like this one is here. And that looks pretty good. The legs weren't too bad. Okay. Now the spine. Uh, what I'm going to do is this. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to move it up and over. I'm going to hit the down arrow. I'm going to move this one down and over. Take this one, move it down and over. So here's the thing. If you actually look, your chest doesn't really flex, right? It's a solid piece. So this actually, you shouldn't have your spine going all the way up. It should go up to roughly where, I would say a little higher than where your rib cage, you can feel your rib cage, okay? Um, so up something like that, and that could probably come forward a little bit like that, all right? Now, um, it, uh, I'm going to select this one. This is my neck, okay? So you're going to take that. I'm going to put this at the base of the neck, right? So like kind of where the pit of your neck is, uh, you know, where your clavicles meet, you, the collarbones. I'm going to take this, and this is my head joint. So I'm going to put this right here, where at the base of my head, right? If I were to turn my head, this is where it would rotate from. All right. Now, um, this one here is a clavicle. So this, I'm going to bring over. Oh, we'll keep it in the center, I guess. Um, I'm going to bring it kind of down and in like that. And then I'm going to go down arrow, and I'm going to move this one. Now, this time, I can't move these. This one's probably okay to do it. But this, I can't move in a weird direction this way. It has to stay on this plane, right? So the arms bend this way, right? Because that's how the elbow bends, which means I can't bend things this way. With this one, when I did my knee, it bends this way. So I couldn't move it or bend it that way because that's not physically possible. It's the same thing here. So everything um, on this one... Uh, it's going to move a little bit differently. So I'm going to put this roughly where the shoulder should be. But I can't... Um, this one I could probably... The first one I could probably move up and down. You may or may not be able to. Um, but that's going to go there. And then this one, again, can't move it up and down. If you have to change your model a little bit, that's what you got to do. I'm going to take it, put it roughly where the elbow is. Um, so you can see it's a little too forward. So let's see if it'll let me push it back. Ah, see, look. It was angry about it. So I can't do that. Um, it's kind of weird. Let's see. Can I rotate you like this? Nope. Didn't like that either. Can I move this back? All right. It was okay with that. All right. All right. So anyway, uh, that's why I got to keep on there. I'm not always sure what it's going to work or not. So, all right. So this is the wrist. So I'm going to move this one forward roughly to where the wrist is. That looks acceptable. And then I'm going to go down here and this is going to kind of go here. This is kind of, um, inside the thumb because you know if you move your thumb you can see it moves from like all the way back basically to where your wrist is i'm gonna go to here this is kind of like the first knuckle here so on and so forth so uh and there all right so this is going to get a little bit more tricky um one of the things too is if you look see how my low my um manipulator is always in world um, position. See how the X is always going that way and Z is always going that way and Y is always going up. Um, what I want you to do is go to your tool settings here and switch it if it's like that. Switch it from world and make it object. Okay. Um, and, you know, hit E and do the same thing too. Make sure it's on object. All right. So I'm going to go back to the human IK. Um, and now what you'll notice is when I go down, oh, they still look like that. All right. Well, whatever. Um, I should have. It's weird. Okay. Something's acting weird here. Okay. So um, I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to move this roughly down here and take this one and go like that. So this actually needs to come back more like that. And, ooh, I don't know what's going on there. All right. Let's go up. 
make sure that these are actually inside of your model. Okay. Okay, right. so then we'll do these fingers. This is going to go back here. So these are meant to be your metacarpals. These first ones, this first set, and um, not the actual fingers. This one's the start of the fingers. So I'm going to put this roughly where that one is. Go like that. Move that guy there. Go like that. And move that guy there. Like so. Here. That one goes there. This one goes here. Okay, so putting one on each knuckle. And move you over a little bit. That down. And that down. And this has got to come down this way a little bit. And down. And down. Okay. Now, um, oops, come on. I think these are probably too high. They are, so I'm going to select. I guess we'll select all of them. I'm just going to push them down a little bit. That's a little better. Uh, and then just make sure that these are all centered inside of the model. Okay. But you can see, so there's these ones in here, which if you look at your hand, you, know, you can feel those bones on the inside. Those are your metacarpals. Your carpals are here. Your metacarpals are basically just before these phalange. Okay. So they're meant to go there. So it should look like that. All right, and I think we're good. So now we need to mirror it. Uh, there's no real mirror option here. It's kind of a weird way to go about it. But if you go to skeleton, you can click on this button, and that will mirror the skeleton from one side to the other, like so. And now you see they're both like that. Yay. Okay. Next thing we want to do is there's this control section. Um, but uh, we can't really do anything with that yet because what I want to do before I make the rig, the actual rig part of it, I want to actually just bind it. So what I want you to do is select the highest in the hierarchy. So not, this time, not this thing, but the actual this joint. You can click on this and hit the up arrow until you get here. Don't keep hitting up because it'll get to the, to the, uh, the locator. But this guy right here. And then shift select the model. Okay, so I think either order works. But go skin, bind skin, option box. I want you to do these settings. We want to do joint hierarchy. That just means it's going to grab this joint and all the joints that are parented. It'll go down the hierarchy. If you choose um, selected joints, it'll literally only bind the model to the single joint. Uh, closest distance. That is the worst one. So that's the old oldest one. I would prefer you do geodesic voxel. Okay, that's the best. Basically what it is is that it's going to, um, in essence, sort of parent the vertices of your model to these joints that are here okay um the way that it does that is going to be one of these this is basically the process that it's going to go about doing it um now you can paint these afterwards and make sure they look good and what have you we're not going to go over that because that's time consuming but uh but that's what this is for uh so this is the newest one then this is the second newest third newest and oldest okay so you want to start with this one hopefully it works okay if you have wanted to run into a weird error then just undo it and do heat map and then you know until you get the closest distance um all right so max influences we want to change that to three um turn off maintain max influences remove unused that's fine colorized skeleton doesn't do anything 256 is fine now i'm actually going to close this because i want you to do this first let's go ahead and save this all right, so save it as a version. Oh, we'll use desktop. Let's call it Dude Geo. Okay. All right, so save this before you go to bind it because there might be an error in this way, or, or it might crash. Anytime that Maya has to do any sort of calculations, it's a good idea to, to save it because, you know, Maya breaks. So then we're going to go skin, back to bind skin, option box. Make sure these settings. Oh, I didn't save any of them. So, uh, Geodesic Voxel, classic linear is fine. Distance, let's do three. Turn off maintain max influences. That's good. Um, and bind skin. Now, if you go to do this and it's like, no, I hate you. Um, there are some other options. Um, for one, you could try those different methods. But another thing you could do is to select the model. And then you go to, uh, sorry, got to be in modeling. You go to mesh, clean up, hit the option box. Um, clean up matching polygons. This is all fine. 
And then by, fixed by tessellation means it's going to triangulate faces with more than four sides, which means n-gon. So it's like these are all quads, right? They all have four sides. But if I had one that was five sides or six sides or what have you, it will turn those into triangles instead. And then you turn on laminate faces and non-manifold. And then you hit clean up and then try to bind again. Hopefully it binds anyway, but if it doesn't, that's why. All right. So now if I were to move this joint, you're going to see it moves his arm. Okay. Yay. But that just means that the character is bound to this um, joint hierarchy, but it doesn't actually have a rig that I can animate, right? Because we're just selecting the joints right, right at it. So um, what I want you to do is basically go up to here and you see it says character one, go to source, choose control rig. And then what's going to do, it's going to create this rig for you. And then go ahead and save it once you know that's working. Um, and then you'll see now, I can now grab this leg. I can grab this here. And you can see your character is now able to move. All right, and we can grab these various things and the character will follow them. Yay, okay. And you can, you can dab and everything whatever you kids do. All right. Um, don't grab these joints. It will allow you to do this. Like you can animate. Oh, it's not really working. Oh, that's weird. Um, but don't, don't animate on these. These are, you're not meant to do that. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is grab the, generally the red ones are the ones that are IK and typically will work a little bit better. All right. Uh, but save it before you start playing around with it because you want to make sure that your rig is the default state that is zeroed out like this and it looks clean and it's all good to go. And then next week, I think I'm going to show you how to animate and that will be great. So good luck.